to that young woman. Walk through a military cemetery and you'll see tombstones with crosses, stars of David, the Muslim crescents, and others. Now a new symbol has been approved, but not without some controversy. Let's go to CNN's Brian Todd once again. What's with the new symbol, Brian? Wolf, it's called a Wiccan pentacle, and starting this week, veterans of that faith will have the option of having this controversial symbol associated with witchcraft placed on their headstones. Sergeant Patrick Stewart died in combat a year and a half ago in Afghanistan. But on the Wall of Heroes at Fernley, the Veterans Cemetery in Nevada, his memorial marker has been some time in coming. His widow told CNN last year she was holding out until she could get a plaque with a symbol of his religion, a forbidden Wiccan pentacle. I must have it on his memorial plaque before I can lay him to rest so that he can move on and that our family can even begin to start to grieve. Now she can, after a lawsuit. The Veterans Administration has just announced that the pentacle will be added to its list of 38 other approved emblems of belief that can be engraved on government-provided markers. If you serve your country, at least you deserve to be able to be recognized with the symbol that you choose in a memorial in a veterans cemetery. The VFW, Veterans of Foreign Wars, said it has no objection. But not everyone is comfortable with witches in the military. In 1999, George Bush, then the governor of Texas, said he disagreed with the Pentagon's decision to allow witchcraft to be practiced on military bases. But one of the plaintiffs tells us people have nothing to fear. Witchcraft is not Satanism. It is not harming others. It's not power over others. It's not hocus pocus. The Veterans Administration has agreed to pay the Wiccans more than $200,000 to cover costs of the lawsuit, and the Wiccans believe they can get pentacles inscribed on headstones in time for Memorial Day next month. Wolf? Thank you, Brian, for that. Let's get some more on this story. Our Internet reporter, Abby Tatton, is following it. What other religious emblems does the VA approve for the use on these headstones, Abby? Wolf, well, there are 38 others. They're listed online at the Veterans Affairs website. Some of these emblem, emblems are familiar, and then others less so. The emblem for Ekankara, for example, a religious organization with headquarters in Minnesota, indeed represented a religions of all kinds along with an emblem for atheism. The Wiccan pentacle has already been added to this online list. Wolf. All right, thank you, Abby, for that.